Hello and welcome to a new tutorial of Penpot, the open source design and prototyping tool for the whole team. Today's video is about constraints, so we are going to see uh, how it works and how to create and manage all this really cool stuff in Penpot Beta. So let's go! Okay, so uh, let's start with a quick and easy example and how to create uh, and manage the uh, constraints in Penpot. So I have uh, this rectangle and these four ellipses. Uh, as I said, uh, constraints works in Penpot uh, using groups and components. So uh, to start, we have to create a group. So I, I select, I'm going to select these five elements and cre create a group and now if I double click and select an element inside the group we could say here in the right sidebar that we have available the constraint section so uh, we're going to do a, a very easy example uh, which is uh, fix all these ellipses in uh, in the sides that they are uh, positioned so for example blue I'm going to uh, select uh, center and top. You could use, you can use the drop-down menu or click in the uh, interactive constraints uh, section, which uh, allows you to pin and fix the elements here. So, uh, for example, this one, uh, left and center. This one, right and center and the last one fixed at the bottom and center. So uh, now if I select the whole group and I scale it, we can see that all the elements are, are fixed in the positions that the constraints are set in. So for example, we are going to, to do a few changes. Uh, the blue one, I'm going to change it to uh, okay, center, but left and right, uh, in the x, in the y axis, I'm going to pick scale. So now, if I whoop, do a resize, as you could see, as you can see, uh, the the x axis is centered, maintain the the center position, but if I scale it, it will be scaled too in the y-axis. So that's very helpful and now uh, we are going to see uh, this constraints in action with some components but it works uh, mostly the same. If I click on this icon, in, on this button, sorry, which, which have an, an icon inside and a text, a label. So if I double click it, we could say that the, the text will be uh, fixed uh, in order to increase and, dec and decrease its size when I scale the button, but the icon is fixed to top and left. So I can resize the icon. Mm -hmm. You see how it works. If we want to change uh, this stuff and, and, and maintain the text at the top, we have to select and it works fine. So I can write large text and if I decrease its size, whoop, whoop. Yep. And for example, in, in this case below, we have a notification and an alert kind of alert and uh, we have three elements inside which are the icon, uh, title and uh, close uh, input, okay? The close trigger. So uh, the icon is centered and left, the title is scalable and the uh, close trigger is right on top. Mm -hmm. You see. So, that's all. Uh, 